Police are doing everything they can to find the hit and run driver who killed an 18 year old college student from Long Island. Zaranji Palmer was run over in the middle of rush hour traffic on Thursday. Tonight, her father talked with Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim about the tragic loss of his daughter. Joe and Sandra, it was a minor fender bender that triggered a senseless sequence of events. Eyewitnesses say the hit and run driver, in an attempt to flee, dragged the young woman 25 to 30 feet. And now the pain she felt, her suffocating loss, now being felt by her loving family. She never got tired of giving hugs. Never got tired of giving hugs. 18-year-old Taranjit Parmar and her giant heart suddenly gone after an unthinkable crime. Now all her father wants is one last chance to say goodbye. I just want another hug. That's all. Ranjit Parmar says his daughter was the foundation of his family, always full of kindness, a kindness that was contagious. If you're going to have a daughter, this is the one. You know how people say it? And we've been blessed. And I don't know what else to say. You know? Just minutes from home, it was Thursday around 5 p.m., when the young woman was struck and killed by a hit and run driver on a busy stretch of Hempstead Turnpike. Watch as the driver of this red pickup pulls out into traffic directly into the path of Parmar's SUV. A minor collision. Both drivers pull aside just out of camera range. What you can see is what happens next. The Levittown woman gets out of her car and calls her mother to tell her what happened. But all her mother heard. She said, stop. Um, oh no, stop. Eyewitnesses say the driver ran her down before fleeing the scene. Police are asking for help. That's bumper to bumper traffic. People saw this. Take another look at the red pickup. It appears to have removable flashing emergency taillights. The driver of this vehicle killed a young woman studying to be a dentist and returning from classes at Delphi University, shattering her dreams and so much more. It's my dreams too, so I work in Manhattan on Lower East Side and I know that she wanted to go to NYU Dental and it happened to be like one block from where I work and I used to tell her that you know when you go there I'm gonna we're gonna have lunch together I know when I go back to work all those memories you know like every time I walk by NYU Dental Tuesday would have been her 19th birthday her family in planning her funeral is trying to avoid having it on that day in Levittown Stefan Kim Channel 7 Eyewitness News